Now, of course, one of the many tragedies associated with this blaze has been the impact on pets and native wildlife. And first, respond, first responders and emergency veterinary teams are gearing up to enter the fire zone to establish the impact that this blaze has had on animals. Many animals have perished in the flames, and among them, dozens of beloved pets that had no chance of escape when the fire swept through a kennel and cattery at Tea Tree Gully. The lucky ones, 40 dogs made it out. But 20 others and 20 cats were trapped by the blaze. Words can't describe how um, horrible it is, um, for the, particularly with those who've lost their beloved pets. Paul Hicks owns the Tea Tree Gully Kennels. The CFS volunteer of 40 years was fighting the blaze elsewhere when his business and his home were destroyed. Aware of what was going on and couldn't get back there and was being told by all sorts of people in authority that there was no way you could go anywhere near anywhere around there. Mr Hicks now charged with informing owners of their pet's fate. No injuries at all David, he's, he's fine. Really it's just a horrible process of, it, of it trying to um, inform people what's happened. Amid the devastation, extraordinary moments of care. It's been drinking now for 10-15 minutes non-stop. This koala, singed and thirsty, sits in the arms of a CFS volunteer. It's only a young one, uh, we don't know how old it is. It's a lot smaller than another koala we found close by. Stock two, waiting to be rescued. Animal rescue teams are now preparing for the green light from the CFS to enter the fire ground to begin the painstaking task of assessing and treating the injured wildlife, livestock and pets and unfortunately begin counting the losses. We are expecting to find the fire ground to be quite confronting Harvey at the moment um, with more hot weather coming up. There'll be animals that have perished in this fire, there'll be animals that need treatment. The loss is limited somewhat by the efforts of hundreds to evacuate horses. This has been an unprecedented use of social media to probably remove to safe locations over 2,000 horses. Harvey Biggs, Nine News.